This is going to be so awkward. Hi. <laughs> Scheiße. Welcome to my channel. I'm Anik. I'm a classical pianist. And today we're going to talk about breathing. We are breathing in and we are breathing out, okay? And these are very important things because, you know, as pianists, we often forget how important it is to breathe and how breathing can actually have an impact on our sound that we are creating. Today we are focusing on breathing before playing and not while we are playing. There, I bet in the end it's similar. But again, I'm just concentrating on the first note or the first notes. So breathing before playing. And this is super essential because, you know, music is already there before you're playing. It is like everywhere around us all the time. And when we're on stage or when we are playing, we're actually trying to catch it out of the air and let it flow through us. And then after playing, we are just giving it back to our environment. <laughs> so this is like the image that I have in my mind when I'm playing or when I start to play, or actually like when I start to play and when I end to play. So these are two very important points, starting and ending a piece. So today we're going to talk about how to start a piece. And this means what do I have to do before playing? And breathing is the key word. <laughs> there are different ways how to breathe. First of all, you can decide if you want to breathe with your nose or with your mouth. I normally do it with my nose because it looks better. <laughs> but you can breathe with your mouth. It's totally okay. It's totally fine if you feel comfortable with it. I think sometimes I breathe out with my mouth because it is like, I don't know. <sighs> yes, okay. Do whatever you want to do, choose your nose, choose your mouth, it's completely up to you. <laughs> it's just important that you breathe at all, okay? <laughs> Don't stop breathing. <laughs> there are different ways to breathe in and out. And I will try to explain my basic breathing techniques. I mean, this is not a technique, it's, a, it's, it's breathing, so... I'm going to introduce you four ways of breathing before playing. The first one would be breathing in long and calm. And the second one would be long and strong. And the third one would be short and strong, like, like an impulse or... Well, it, it does not have to be strong, but you need this feeling of an impulse. And the fourth one is breathing out, calm. Lee. <laughs> like always, there are many, 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 many different ways to do this and everyone will have to find his or her own way. There is no perfect breathing technique or something like this uh, for everyone. So in the end, we want to put our breath in relationship with the music. So we let the music breathe through us because breathing means living and you want to let the music live okay <laughs> does this make any sense to you if we breathe in this means that our body gets a lot of tension and gets prepared for something like like it, it gets all the energy and power and if we breathe out we're actually relaxing our body so just as an exercise you can try to close your eyes <laughs> Breathe in and out. <laughs> like. Okay, and this is like super awkward, but um, you should do this just to feel your whole body and so on. And you can feel like different energy levels in your body while you're breathing in and while you're breathing out. And you will have to find the right energy level for each and every piece. I will show you four different ways or like four different energy levels that I am using pretty often, I think. But again, there are many, many, many other ways uh, to do this and to, to find the right energy level. This is just my thing, okay? <laughs> Okay, let's let's look at some examples. <laughs> okay, I will try to show you the different 
three things and hopefully you will see the difference. So the first one is to breathe in long and with a calm breath. And on the highest point of your energy level, so when you can't breathe any more air into your body, uh, this is the point where you want to touch the key because this is like the energy level that you want to get. So if you take the example of um, Chopin Opus 10 number 3, this would be like we are breathing in and at the highest point we take the first note. So. The second version would be to breathe in long and strong and this works often like if you want to create a very big sound and you need a lot of energy and this, it's the start of a big piece then you will need to think of the ending already before you have started to play the whole piece so you need to take a deep breath and a strong breath that will take you through the next 30 minutes for example of course you are breathing meanwhile but this is like the first impulse so often you can really hear the pianist breathing in so um, let's take the same example uh, opus 10 number three so you can hear the difference like and as you can see it is like a little bit faster and it is stronger and louder and it sounds more like an opening than a piece that is in the middle of, of the whole cycle. So I like to, to take this breathing technique at the beginning of a complete work like for example Opus 10 number one. I will demonstrate it later. Now the third type would be to breathe in very short like an impulse that is coming from your stomach and you really want to feel this impulse coming from your stomach. It's like and I will demonstrate it again with Opus 10 number 3 so you can hear the difference to the others. So um, it would be like... <laughs> so you always take these breathings in relationship with the tempo and the rhythm of the piece. So in this case it does not make sense at all. Now uh, the last version would be to breathe out and to breathe out means you have to first breathe in actually we're just breathing in very calm and long and then we're breathing out and while we are breathing out there is somewhere the point i can't really tell you where you will have to find out for yourself um, but somewhere there while we are breathing out um, there is a point where the music feels ready to come out you have to listen to yourself very carefully even though there is nothing that you can hear but you can feel it and this is like So as you see, there is always a difference between all these four breathing techniques and you will have to find your own way, what feels comfortable and what fits 
the character of the music the best. So for me personally, I was choosing between the first one and the last one. So number one and number four. I decided to do the fourth one because it is a little bit more flowing with the music. So as examples, I would take for number one, Opus 10 number seven. Or Opus 10 number six. For number two, where I'm breathing in very strong and long, I would take Opus 10 number one, for example. And for the third type, like breathing short as an impulse that comes from your stomach, I would choose Opus 10 number four. <laughs> And uh, also Opus 10 number 5, for example. <laughs> and for breathing out, um, I would take uh, Opus 10 number 3, as I had before, like... And also I found out that I like to breathe out for Opus 10 number two to relax before I play, like... you could hear the differences. Before you're playing this and, and um, trying it out at the piano, you should first of all try to feel the difference between these four types of breathing. So don't touch any key, just do this while you're sitting or standing there and breathe. This is what I'm doing as well, like I'm just sitting there and breathe. This is also part of my practicing. Also uh, to breathe and only play the first note or the first notes, um, so not more than one bar, for example. Because the beginning, and especially the first note, is so important. And if you get it right, then everything that is coming afterwards is going to be easier. So this is my tip for today. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Please check out my Instagram, my website, and uh, please support me on Patreon. So see you in the next video. Bye.